Hey guys, welcome to for tutorials. So guys, today I teach you how to create abstract animation with using Octana Render. So firstly guys, I take Halex, this one. Guys, I create Christmas type shape and plane size, I take change XZ, yes. Guys, decrease start radius, I take like 150, yeah. And end radius, I take zero, yes. And guys, and angle, increase I take like 2200 yes yeah right and height I take like 4 centimeter actually 400 centimeter this one yes okay so guys now I change also intermediate points I take natural and number of count I take 2 yes Right, see guys, that's my simple Christmas type shape. And now, guys, I take and side tool this one, and radius I take like 15, and side I take 5. Yeah, and guys, I take swap tool, select both object, and make child with swap. Yes, guys, I go to display, select all shading lines. See guys, that's my simple shape. Right, it's so easy. Okay, so guys, now I go to swap and go to detail. Guys, change scale size graph. So select this last key, drag and drop like this. Yes, and guys, I go to 0 0.7, click. I create one more key and go to up. Create shape like this. Yes, see guys, that's my graph, scale size graph. Yeah, and that's my shape, right? Okay, so guys, now I create animation. So go to up and see guys, I create and rotation animation like this. So now guys, I go to frame and frame, I take like 500 is good. And guys, full frame. So guys, and rotation, press this animation key on zero frame. And I go to last like 500 frames and uh, guys and rotation I take like 2000 is good and press this animation key yes so guys go to back and play okay so guys actually that's not correct so stop select this swap tool and I go to window and take timeline F curve tool and create full guys select this graph editor and press this liner click yes see guys that's my graph editor so close and go to back and play yes see guys i create animation like this right it's so easy okay so guys now stop i take this time spare and select the spare and spare radius i take like seven centimeter and take cloner so select this spare and make child with cloner and guys select this cloner and more i take object yes and guys see that's my object so select this cloner drag and drop an object yes see guys right it's so easy and looking good okay so guys problem is that it's not correct see that's not correct right okay so guys fix this so select this cloner and I go to more graph and take plane. Yes. And guys, I go to parameter and position uncheck. Guys, scale size check and ununiform check. Yes. And guys, scale size, I take like minus 0 0.8. Yes. Okay. So again, the guys, this time I go to fall off and shape. I take liner and guys orientation i change like minus y yes and go to up yes better see guys right and little bit increase the size so size increase like this i take like 150 centimeter yes see guys now this is fixed right see guys 
all spare position is good okay so guys animation is finished my shape is finished see guys that's really beautiful right it's really good okay so guys now stop guys this time swap and uncheck and uncheck on render only select this spare yes great guys now i create liner inner side so select this helix this one and copy press ctrl c and v and guys this time i take circle and circle radius i take 1.5 yeah and again i take swap tool select both object helix and circle and we shall with swap yes see guys that's my second shape right okay so guys my shape is finished now i apply material and so guys i go to octana and live window check yes and select drag and drop on here yes yeah okay so guys now click on here click yes guys i create material for this pair so i go to create and shader octana material and double click on material guys i take black glossy material so material type i take glossy and diffuse i take black yes and apply on cloner cloner yes right okay so guys now i create material for inner side again create new material and open guys animation black body animation check and click guys same as a last one rgb spectrum this one and i take purple color purple like this see guys so go to back and double sided check surface brightness check and apply on swap tool this one yes see guys and closer like this right okay so guys now all is good guys i apply sdri image use sdri lighting so firstly i go to object and use sdri environment yes and guys i apply texture this one so click on texture and take see guys that's my sdr image you can download from my website is free select and open and no yes right see okay but guys see that's not correct it's lighting show so again i go to object and texture environment check yes and texture environment guys i take black color yes see guys that's my black and change settings so go to back and guys type i take visible environment yes see guys that's my sdr image so closer yeah and guys i increase power so go to sdr image and power i take like 2 yes right okay so guys go to back that's good okay so guys now use camera so i go to object and octana camera and camera check and guys i go to post processing and enable check and guys bloom power i take like 20 yes that's really good and uh, guys i go to camera image enable camera image check and guys you can check natural response yes and saturation to white i take 0.2 yes and see guys that's really beautiful that's my really beautiful shape yes that's really good right see guys 
okay so guys now i go on setting and gi mode i take gi diffuse and glossy depth i take three and diffuse depth three and guys max amp for less noise so you can take five one two that's it so close that's it guys right see that's my simple animation and effect and now guys i create animation so select this octana camera and guys go to here uncheck camera and all position take zero and rotation also zero yes guys now rotate my camera 90 degree 90 and i go to front view panel go to down like this i take like y minus 500 yes and go to back and press this animation key go to 500 frames and camera go on up and press this animation key yes that's it so go on camera and go to back see guys that's my camera and play okay see guys now it's rendering so stop it's take little bit time right okay so guys that's it it's my simple octana camera material is finished now i go to render setting and simple octana render and click all use gpu check and guys i go to save format i take jpeg sequences go to desktop create new folder like ran and take any file name and output use all frame right so that's it so close and render okay so guys that's it it's my simple very simple animation tutorials finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you